Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be for March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the month and that just fell out. So we have justice. Getting some kind of justice. It feels very beautiful. I mean, this is a card of Libra, which is also about balance, balance being restored. But it's a karmic energy. Okay, so, okay, so there's a message here of get more information. Okay. So I'm going to pull four cards, Pisces. The first card is first week, second card, second week, third card, third week, fourth card, fourth week, as you know. Then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And the mes message may overlap, divine timing and all that, but it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. <clears throat> so what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for Pisces, March 2021, thank you. So we have the Two of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Judgment, King of Wands, okay, what do we have for Pisces please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Pisces. Oh, what am I doing? I'm using the wrong deck. One second. <laughs> what do we have for Pisces, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for Pisces. Thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Pisces? March 2021, thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, cards are there. Okay, so we have the Knight of Pentacles, Temperance, Knight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck we have the Five of Pentacles. Pisces. It feels that I'm definitely getting this energy. I mean, yes, this can be to do with justice. Um, legal situations, government institutions and so on. But it feels, I'm definitely getting this idea of balance being restored. So it feels like you have gone through some kind of instability here. And I'm definitely getting to do with money, career, finances. And it feels that you're being told karmically if the situation was unfair in how this happened, how this came about, balance will be restored. It's a lovely energy, but it's also a karmic energy. Justice and judgment are real powerful um, karmic energies. So it feels like there's powerful karma, bringing karmic rewards your way. Definitely getting that energy very much. We have get more information. So some information that you need to glean here. Um, the message is if you're offered something, look at the fine print, the detail, you know, don't miss the finer detail, the print, that's definitely what I'm getting. It might well be you need more clarification in terms of what opportunities or offers mean to you, because I'm definitely seeing that for some of you this, this month. Um, so you'll understand what that get more information means to you, but it feels like balance is being restored and it feels good. And it's as a result of the actions that you've been taking because the two are of pentacles. I mean, it can be a card of juggling money, you know, and it feels for some of you with the cards on the table, you've been hit in terms of 
finances, jobs, um, career, you know, and, you know, this, this can be a card of, of dealing with something that feels overwhelming, you know, it feels overwhelming. Uh, but there's a message that as this person juggles and dances, they don't drop anything, they're still juggling, they're still dancing. So even though things feel like you're almost at that point of sinking, you have everything that you need, the resource, the capability to deal with this situation. Know that, even though it does feel overwhelming. Because the Knight of Pentacles can be a card of getting back on track in terms of somebody making you an offer somebody making you an op uh, offering you an opportunity i mean this can be to do with job offers contracts um incoming money uh you know if it's been to do with some legal situation it could be that you might have been juggling things this could be about money coming into you um offers opportunities like i said so uh, clients, you know, winning clients, that kind of thing. It feels very, very beautiful. It's the card of getting back on track and it's very good in terms of money, career, finance in particular. So I'm definitely getting this energy of there has been something that has, has just felt very overwhelming. But, and, and the Knight of Pentacles is just be patient. I mean, this is patience here. You know, the opportunity is going to come. An offer, an opportunity is coming. This is just be patient. Because for some of you, the temperance card is a card of patience. Yeah, it's a card of patience. Uh, it's also a card of, of balance, getting balance back in your life. Um, yeah, and it's to do with the Ten of Cups, which is to do with happy relationship, blissful relationship, home, family. So it feels like the rainbow of blessings. I mean, this is the rainbow of blessings. But remember, the Ten of Cups is a card of the productivity that you've been putting into something feeds the rainbow too. There is the blessing here, but what you've been working towards, something that felt overwhelming, there's a message of patience. You will get the blessing, the goal, the blessing that will not only benefit you, but your home, your family, your relationship, you know, your loved ones, uh, children, you know, call it what you will. Um, so there's definitely this promise of getting back on track, getting balanced back, um, but patient, be patient, you know. You will find that solution, the way forward, that will get you back to that rainbow of blessings. It feels absolutely beautiful. It's going to happen, when it happens, it's going to happen quite quickly. You know, and that's what I'm feeling for some of you. And remember, this is a karmic rewards energy. So you will be able to step into your light. And this is this is the, the awakening of the soul, stepping out of the darkness into the light. So there's definitely this energy of, you know, you will be called to action. There will be some kind of decision or action that you need to take in result, in response to some kind of news that is fast coming in. So... For some of you, there may well be a level of, of, of some kind of opportunity or the potential of that. There's some patience that's needed. And then, wow, there is the flurry of activity here. The event is happening. The news is coming in. The information is here. I see the change here third week, definitely for some of you. Um, the news, the conversation, the message. Um, yeah, and it's just something that is responding, some kind of action, judgment, um, decision, call it what you will. But this is the fast coming, incoming event uh, that requires a response, requires some kind of action from you. I'm going to go to this Pisces because again, the five of pentacles can be about financial loss. So it can be to do with job loss, finance, financial loss, financial hardship, feeling out in the cold. So it can be to do with job loss, rejection, feeling outcast and begrudging how it was done, you know, because it feels like there's been some, I mean, the fact that karma's in this reading, it feels that the universe has recognized the injustice of it all. Or, you know, I mean, there's levels to what I'm saying to that, but something didn't feel very fair about this reading. But there's definitely this energy of 
even in your darkest time, you're being watched over by the stained glass window of that church. So the universe is reminding you that even though you have been going through some kind of challenge, instability, it feels to do with finances, jobs, career, um, you're being watched over and guided. The message with the Five of Pentacles is try to just get perspective. Don't let yourself enjoy or indulge in feeling the lack because this is very much to do with the, the law of attraction. If you allow the lack to get on top of you, uh, own you, you know, it, it's the energy that you put out to the universe, you know, and the universe responds you in kind. And this is about karmic rewards, you know, the universe rewarding you for your actions and hard work and focus and dedication. So just be careful of that. Pisces you know just be careful of that kind of energy don't look at somebody else or how well they're doing or how they're fine and you're not this is absolutely about focusing staying focused on your path that's where the opportunity comes in because for some of you it feels there is a person male or female a leader who is influential in offering you an opportunity. Uh, the Ace of Wands can be to do with uh, career business opportunities um, and it promises growth and success long term, you know, something that you absolutely want to take action towards. King of Wands is a Leo, really, for me as a, as a, as a reader, uh, somebody who is a go-getter, who is a great leader. They lead by example. They lead by hard work. They lead by passion and um, action. They're driven. So for some of you, you might be meeting somebody like that, somebody who is influential. They hold the one that they're offering to you. So I definitely feel in this energy there is the new beginning here towards the end of the month. And the message is know your worth, know your worth. I don't, I'm, I'm getting this energy of self-doubt, self-worth, um, you know, and this is a practical energy of your capabilities, your resourcefulness in terms of this new opportunity that feels like it's being offered to you here. So there's definitely this energy here, Pisces, of, you know, whatever's gone before, draw a line under it. You know, don't let that own you here because it feels like you have the ability to turn this around here. There is the new exciting opportunity being offered to you coming your way. New beginnings, new starts, the karmic rewards energy that is going to bring you the rainbow of blessings here. Um, so a line full of patience, but keep going. Um, keep taking action. Know your worth. Um, Whatever's gone before, don't let that own you because this is something that you deserve, you know, and that you deserve because of your experience, your capabilities, your resourcefulness, your knowledge, what you can bring to this company, I feel for some of you. So, yeah, just just be mindful of that, Pisces, uh, but definitely an energy of getting balanced back. You know, I definitely feel this energy of, yeah, the new beginning is unfolding here. A level of patience, a level of keep going. Sorry, that just literally folded back. So let's um, see what we have. What do we have as a final message for Pisces? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Light at the end of the tunnel. I'm definitely getting that energy. So we have the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light on your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness. Absolutely. And this is you stepping into the light. You're being asked to step into the light here by your action. So something comes in very quickly. There may have been some waiting here, but don't think twice. This is act. Just act on it. Go for it. This is meant to be. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Pisces, and I will see you next time. Thank you.